What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Teofimo Lopez and Ryan Garcia. Get this. Teofimo Lopez to Ryan Garcia. F you. You can't play me. You're hype and not serious about a fight. Bars. Teofimo Lopez Jr. faces off against Pedro, Com Pedro Campa on Saturday night, headlining an ESPN show from Resort World in Las Vegas. Although Lopez, which is 16, 1, and 12, will be making his 140-pound debut and fighting for the first time since losing his lightweight titles to George Cambosos last November, a newfound narrative around his comeback has revolved and a potential fight with Ryan Garcia. Garcia insists that a, win, a fight with Javante Tank Davis is the one thing that he still mostly desires, but if it's not, he wants a showdown with Lopez, and he thinks that he's a solid fallback option, he's admitted. Golden Boy Promotions' Oscar De La Hoya proclaimed over the weekend that he's moved on from the Davis-Garcia negotiations and instead going to attend Lopez's fight Saturday night. Lopez offered his stance on the fight week developing involving Garcia. He said that could be a publicity stunt to keep Ryan up in the feeds. Lopez told Marcos Villegas, he said, my fight is coming up. Everyone is watching me. Come on, guys. You've got to think outside the box. So I'm not going to believe it until I see the contract. Let's talk about Pedro Campa, the guy I'm fighting this Saturday. Ryan did his thing against Javier Fortuna. Tank did his thing against Rolando Romero. This is my time to shine. I'm not going to give all that to Ryan Garcia. F you. That's how I feel. You're not going to play me. Not anymore. No, not at all. I don't duck no fighter. I take everybody they give me. Ask the top ranked matchmakers. They are the greatest in the business. I say no to any fight. I never say no to any fight, but right now I'm focused on August 13th and Pedro Campa. Ryan Garcia's just a hype job. He's all happy because of his last performance, so he thinks that he can take on anybody or everybody. He feels like Superman, but really, he is his own kryptonite. Those are the words of Teofimo Lopez. Let me counterpunch. Um, you have to agree with Lopez. You know, Ryan Garcia is quick to show up at anyone's event. He's uh, quick to jump on the bandwagon. He's quick to self-promote. And based on what we saw, we saw a guy that he beat up in Javier Fortuna, which was no match for him. Okay, he slaughtered the guy, slaughtered the guy. But then him talking about Teofimo Lopez and saying that he's going to show up at the fight and this, that, and the other. I should, and I would have the same stance as Teofimo Lopez. Why? Because... Ryan, that's his M.O. right now, you know, and I think this may be a publicity stunt. We've seen Ryan Garcia talk so much. The bike, the bark has been so loud with that. We really don't know what the what, what the bite is, you know, and T.O. is like, hey, you know what? This is my fight. You're not going to try to take the shine away from me. And then you end up not fighting me. And then you just muzzle my uh, success in my comeback fight. While you sit around and still fight guys that nobody really wants to see you fight. Okay, so T.O. should have that, you know. And I think T.O. was doing really well until he beat Lomachenko. When he beat Lomachenko, the takeover was real. But you've seen a desire for him to take on the best. And Bob Arum got him the best because T.O. wanted it. Now, the question is, do you see Ryan Garcia with that same tenacity? Now, we just heard him say in this interview that they're trying to move on from Tank Davis. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I really don't care at this point because I didn't figure that fight was going to happen anyway. OK, but as far as him calling out Lopez, Lopez, I think is about it. I think that loss, maybe it was needed because now you don't want to pretend like Mayweather or you don't want to do those things. But Tio was a strong sayer in how he felt people forgot about Pretty Boy, which made a lot of sense. And they have. Ryan Garcia is not far. I think these guys are calling out all these guys because they want to stay uh, relevant. Okay. 
They want to stay in the loop. They want to stay in the buzz, in the know, okay? And Ryan Garcia is no exception. I think he's just doing that, you know, and then a fight doesn't get made. And guess who suffers? The boxing fans, us. Because once again, he just had, he revved everybody up, had you all hype for a buildup that never happened. Okay, so um, I'm with uh, Teofimo Lopez on this. If, you know, I won't believe anything until you see a contract. But the question you ask yourself, if Teofimo Lopez uh, beats Pedro Campa, will you see the same energy, supposedly, that you've seen for, from the desire for Ryan to fight Tank? as you would see him trying to fight Tio. Okay, that's the question you ask yourself. Will that actually be, you know, a desired fight? Will they actually try to make it happen? Because if it doesn't go through Oscar De La Hoya, we all know it's a, just a bunch of poppycock. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Tio Fimo Lopez blasting Ryan Garcia. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace!